focusing on stopping distracted drivers. If you think it's not a problem, listen to this. In 2003, 600,000 crashes were caused by drivers using cell phones. In 2008, that number went up to 1.6 million. Now this new movement is aiming to stop that number from climbing even higher. CBS News correspondent Kelly Wallace is in Woodbridge Township, New Jersey, with more on how this is going to work. Kelly, good morning. Good morning, Maggie. A new report out today finds that one out of every four crashes involves someone using a cell phone. It could be a handheld or hands-free device. Both are equally distracting, according to experts, and as dangerous as driving drunk. Joe Teeter would have been a freshman in college had a 20-year-old woman talking on her cell phone not driven through a red light six years ago and killed him. We lost Joe to a, as a result of a phone call. And uh, you think about that today and it just seems so senseless. Hoping to educate drivers about just how dangerous it is to talk and text behind the wheel, today the teeters and others who lost loved ones in cell phone crashes are establishing a national advocacy group modeled after Mothers Against Drunk Driving or MAD. Since MAD was created in 1980 to raise awareness about drinking and driving, the number of drunk driving deaths dropped nearly 50%. It was a way of changing how people thought about drunk driving. Handheld or hands-free, using a cell phone while driving, experts say, is the equivalent of driving with a blood alcohol level of 0 0.08, the threshold for the legal limit. Distracted driving advocates point to GPS technologies, which can stop people from making and receiving calls or sending texts. The person you have called appears to be driving. The only exception, calls to 911. Ultimately, what we envision is a day a few years down the road when we all look back and say, remember those days when we used to talk on the phone while driving? Boy, wasn't that stupid to do. And think about it, one out of every 10 drivers on the road behind me is believed to be using a cell phone at this very moment, and that makes them four times as likely to crash. That's a message this new group called Focus Driven is hoping to get to every driver on the road today. Maggie? Kelly Wallace in New Jersey. Let's hope they're listening. Thank you.